Boom. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be carrying on with a Get Shredded for Summer 2017 workout program and today we're going to be focused on, yeah, shoulders. So make sure you get your water, timer, stopwatch, everything you need and head over to the gym. Before I start the workout as well, just make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the video. Give me a big thumbs up. I'm about to pop the workout now. So after that, we'll get straight into the routine. Blah. The first exercise of the shoulder and traps workout is Arnold press and we will do 4 sets of 10 to 12 reps. I can tell people are already going to make fun of me for these facial expressions I'm pulling right now. Your starting position for this exercise is going to be similar to a bicep flex. From there you will turn your wrist out wide and then you will raise the dumbbells up to the top above your head and return them back to the starting position. You will carry on for the amount of reps required for this set. If you want to make it much more difficult, you can raise, it, raise the dumbbell and make sure they meet at the top. But for me, I like to just keep it straightforward if it go up and down. The Arnold press works predominantly the middle head of the deltoid, which is also the shoulder. Our next exercise is the front and side raises. So for this exercise, you will do four sets of 10 to 12 reps. The correct form for this exercise is slowly lifting the dumbbells from your thighs up to shoulder height. And you would do this while alternating between the front and side raises. As a result, you will do half of the sets on your front and half of the sets on your side, making sure you work at a relatively low weight this exercise places the greatest amount of emphasis on the anterior and the middle head of the deltoid. So, for that one, you know, always make sure that you do a light weight. It's not about lifting heavy. It's about lifting a light weight because your shoulders are quite small so you don't need to lift them out with mad weights on it. But when you stay low and you do that amount of reps on sets here, it's perfect man. My shoulders are absolutely burning right now. Our next exercise for this workout is the barbell shrug and you will do four sets of 10 to 12 reps. Lifting the barbell in front of your quads you would raise them as high as possible with your traps and then return them back to the starting point and then carry on. This exercise predominantly work your trapezius, also known as traps, and who wouldn't like a big trap? Like It gives you that muscular look, if you know what I mean, when you just flex. Everyone will be running away from you. So for the shrugs here, yeah, one key thing you need to keep in mind is when you're doing it, lean forward a little bit. Because when you lean forward, it allows you to get your whole shoulder, like your whole traps in. Rather than just shrugging it here, you can bring it down as much as possible. You can shrug all the way up, getting the best contraction in your traps. Trust me, I do this all the time. Best possible way I can think of right now. So make sure you do it like that, and you'll maximize your trap growth, yeah? Our next exercise is the rear dumbbell fly and we would carry out 5 sets of 10 to 12 reps for this exercise. Very high volume and very high intensity. How I normally do this exercise is I put the bench at a 30 degree angle and as I'm laying down on the bench I put my feet on the little standing thing that are next to the chair to give me the best amount of balance and literally I raise the dumbbells as high as I can, keeping them in line with my shoulders and then returning them back to the starting position, allowing them not to touch at the bottom and then raise them back up again. Now the rear dumbbell flies allows you to target the posterior head of the deltoid and this just gives it the 3D shape of for your shoulder. 
Yeah, so guys, for that one, I just did now the rear fly for rear shoulders. You need to make sure that at the bottom you don't touch, so it, it keeps maximum contraction on your rear, because when you touch it, you're kind of resting, so if you stop yourself from touching it, your shoulders are constantly being worked. And make sure you go light as well for the shoulders. Again, the shoulders are a small muscle group, so it's really difficult to go heavy, especially because we're doing high volume training, so keep it light, keep it simple, hit the weight, hit it hard. And our final exercise for the workout is the dumbbell shrugs. For this exercise, we'll do five sets of 10 to 12 reps. Also, very high volume and high intensity. The starting position for the dumbbell will be very similar to the barbell shrug. You would rest the dumbbells across your quads and then leaning slightly in front, you would raise them up as high as possible and returning them back to your starting position and then carry on for the amount of sets and reps required. Now I hope you guys can already tell what muscle this exercise works on. Yes, it's the traps. So as always, we want those big traps. Why? To give us that muscular look, yes. <laughs> so, right, for, so for the form for this one, yeah, I just want to mention again, Make sure you lean over a little bit. When you lean over a little bit, it gives your shoulders more space to move and it allows you to get the best shrug in. So what I do is, yeah, I turn the dumbbells a little bit, like you guys saw in the video, just across my thighs and then it allows me to actually shrug it all the way up and all the way back down. And I think that's the best possible way to do it because when you have it by your sides, you just rubbing against your thighs, it gets very uncomfortable. So try it like that and let me know what you think. So yeah, that was the whole workout just there, guys. My, my shoulders and my traps are absolutely hurting right now. If you guys saw the pain I was going through when I was doing the videos right there, yeah. It's insane. So just make sure you give me a thumbs up, um, you comment on the video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe now. More content to come out, different stuff that's gonna come out as well. And if you want the complete workout routine for the Get Ready For Summer 2017, just email me or hit me up on one of my social media stuff and I'll send you the whole workout. I might change it a little bit for you guys depending on who it is. But yeah, I'll send it to you like that. So until next week, I'll see you guys later. HK out. Hello.